What's up, Internet? Corey Zayman here. We've been adventuring video game hunting. We're on our way down to Atlantic City, but we're hitting a few game stores on the way. This is actually the Retro Games Plus in Norwalk, which I've never been to. We are in New Jersey, heading to a store called East Coast Gamers that I've never heard of before, but was on the way. So let's check it out. Looks like they have video games and Magic the Gathering. And while wow, some things stuff in the window.
No, not the Mario games. Yeah. I got those. Kirby, Kirby yeah. I have. Team Team. What's that Earthling game? Bobby. I'll bet I found a Barbie. Bobby. <laughs> the Battle Olympus. Uh, what was last time? Mm -hmm. uh, that one's pretty sticker. Jaws. Mickey Mouse. games on the NES. I always forget which ones I have. Uh, it's like roller games, roller right. ball. Oh, well, that's, that's <laughs> remind me. I played that before. Yeah, it's a very good game. This one. Oh, it's from like the, kids. I mean, even this another is, label. You play that? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The thing is like, uh, some, play that one. That's a very good game. Yeah, I've got that it's one. Like mm -hmm. Lolo. You know. Yep. These two I got to sell together. We got the collection. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. I think I have the first and the yeah, third game, but not the first second. Section B, C is that's a good game. Yeah, Play I got that, that one. Action. Mm -hmm. Kygo, no, Kygo Hill. Yep. Commando. That's also a nice game. Okay. I come up. Yeah. Frame Stone. You collect those or not? Yeah, I yeah, collect them. Yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw one right uh, Contra with a box brand new, yeah. three fifty. I sold it. <laughs> that guy was so happy, and I have it, and he bought it for me. Yeah, I don't mind giving it to him. Did you move? Uh, that one's for turbo, turbo racing. Yeah. Friends, this is the second one. That's a good game. That one, I see. I don't, I don't have the power pad. Mm -hmm. So like any of the power pad uh, games, I usually stay away from. Yeah, but this thing you can play with the control. Yeah, uh, Hector, no? This one, really yes, very good game, Hector. Starship Hector. Yeah. That's definitely worth the collect. Definitely. Uh, Ghost and Goblin. Oh, that's good. Yeah, the guy say that. I played it like 20 years ago. Okay. But <laughs> he bought that. Even this one is hot. This is the Batman. Yeah. Look at the battery. This, any, anything else? Yeah, just this. This is? This is like a brand new. Yeah. Show you. Yeah. I think I, I think I bought this one myself. One time, you know, he carried the ball, you know, and then he swing the bottom. So that's a good brand new. Yeah. I still have mine in the box right there, but I don't sell it. I still have the receipt when I bought it, 1985. Oh, yeah. I bought it in Crazy Eddie <laughs> in New York. <laughs> yeah, nighttime I went there, you know, like 30 years ago. Yeah, it go with me wherever I go. And this one right here, too. This is also like a new. Yep. Okay. Then uh, I think you have everything in there. You have the boat, you know. Yep. Everything. You wanna have that thing you pull around to the game. Okay. This this one have to be like sixty bucks, right? And this one oh wow, so it's a sixty. Sixty okay. sixty, which is the you know the price I pay for. And this one is uh, this one actually is 35, but I give you one price for everything, okay? So. I'll make it 25 a piece, okay? Because all these are more than 25, but I make it 25 a piece right here. 
so 25 so this is 150 and this is 60 and 60 and this might be for 15 dollars okay so 285 and i don't more than mm -hmm. and i don't charge you the tax because since you buy everything one time I give you 25 years if you just buy this one is 35 this one also 35 this is like 30 this is 30 this is 28 this is like 30 or so 60 60 yeah because you're buying everything so i give you see like this got a challenge set just chilling up in here though that's cool Checking these interwebs nauseously, stoking my chin quite cautiously, then export his skin tight apology. What else don't I know? Huh. Quite cool. Stop. Get a few games that I'll show you in the pickup video or the end of the video, or whatever we're gonna call it. Hey guys, just got out of Level Up Games or Level Up Entertainment. Really cool store, really shows that you don't need to be incredibly overpriced just because you're in a mall. And a lot of people don't realize that. A lot of the retro game stores I've seen in malls are specifically overpriced games just because of their overhead. And you don't need to if you have good competitive prices. So definitely check them out if you're in the, I don't even know what area of New Jersey we're in. <laughs> it's in the Hamilton Mall. I'm over here in whoever the fuck knows where. Powered up games. Really cool store, has a lot of cool stuff. But the prices are kind of boo boo. Um, very specifically, I looked at a Tiger Electronic for the X Men. He wanted 15 for it. Online, the latest sold listings are like $7.50, $8, 9 And all the other, you know, chase titles that I know about, uh, especially for like the Super Nintendo, were about. 15 to 20 dollars more expensive than they should have been.
we're gonna one of our last stops. Games up in somewhere. Another pretty cool store with um, crazy Pokemon players in it. As you know, not heard in the background. Alright guys, let's take a look at what I was able to find at all these game stores that I went to. First up, at the Retro Games Plus in Norwalk, I think. I picked up two games, got a Super Nintendo game I've never heard of, Football Fury. 
definitely let me know if you know anything about it. $9 goes for about 10 ish, I believe. And also Racing Aces for the Sega CD. A Mario Kart S racing game. The Ultimate in Air Combat Racing. It was six dollars. I think it goes for about ten, so not too bad. Also, on the way down to Atlantic City, we stopped at I believe this was East Coast Gamers where I picked these up. They were five dollars each. I probably should have haggled. I don't know if you can really haggle in a store like that. I don't know. Whatever. There were two Super Nintendo games I didn't have. They're Race Driving, which is a THQ game, and Tasmania. Went to. A really really overpriced hoarder store which was right down the street from where we were staying in Atlantic City bought nothing because holy shit his prices were insane he basically wanted me to pay him $285 for maybe maybe like $120 worth of stuff just wasn't gonna happen uh, we did have some better luck on our way back from Atlantic City. We stopped at a few stores, and this next one is actually my favorite store I stopped at. And it was... Oh, Level Up Entertainment. I was really blanking on the store. When you hit so many stores so quick, it's kind of hard to remember. Picked up two PlayStation 1 games. We got Geome Cube, which has some stickers all over. I'm going to have to clean that up a bit and blast radius um not the best prices on those but for these nintendo games it was really cool i didn't have either of them we have alien syndrome only wanted four dollars for that and a not the cleanest copy but acceptable for terminator 2 three dollars not bad at all uh the next game i picked up because i had never seen this version of it, it is guilty gear x2 Where's the... Oh, the Midnight Carnival Reload, or Hashtag Reload, um, for the Xbox. Not an only on Xbox title, I don't know if it was on anything else. I've never heard of this specific version. I've seen Guilty Gear X2, but not that one. And the last thing I have for pickups was actually from the last game store we stopped at. Let's see if I can remember which one it was. I do have all the receipts, just for the fact that I can figure out how much I spent and who the hell they were. Ah, the Game Zone. Uh, in the footage you would have seen or heard um, Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh! kids, I'm not sure what they were playing, I think it was Pokemon kids just being obnoxiously loud in the store <laughs> um, while we were filming, but picked up an NES game I didn't have. One that I'm pretty sure I might have passed on in the past. Dig Dug 2. Never played any of the Dig Dug games. Hopefully it's fun. It was $8. And probably the best find for the weekend. Spy vs. Spy. For the Game Boy Color. Complete in the box. This one they're only asking $9 for. And the only listing I could find on eBay that sold was over $20. I think it was like $22 and some change. So I'd consider that a pretty good deal. And it looks really cool. You don't see many... Well, I was going to say you don't see many good condition Game Boy Color games complete in the box, but I just dropped it and yeah, it's still fine. Box protector on it already. Actually, it came with the box protector. That's really cool. But definitely... I guess I would say give these game stores a look if you're in the area. Definitely go with Level Up Entertainment. Definitely the coolest store that I did go to. Uh, a lot of the other stores had really cool product, but their prices were just really, really ridiculous. And unfortunately, that's why they probably have really good product, because it doesn't move. They just have it forever. And that's the way it goes with game stores. So, like the video. Let me know how your weekend adventure in video game hunting is going. Subscribe if you're new. Go check out my Patreon. And as always, keep it real, internet. I love you guys.